strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Pit Pat Stone. And now, here's our host, Jim Caldwell. Terrific. Thank you very much. Welcome to another edition of Tic Tac Doe. Uh, let me see, at the end of our last show, we had just crowned a brand new champion, but she hasn't had an opportunity to meet her next challenger, or her first opponent, I guess I should say. So let's bring them both out right now. Well, Jim, our current champion owns a cookie gram business, and her interests include weightlifting and sign language. Her winnings total in cash, $1,300, meet Fran Gordon. And her opponent is a student whose interests include computers and fishing, B.J. Boyarski. <laughs> Got to get that handshake and all out of the way. All right. Good to see you. How you feeling, Jay? Great. Good for you. Uh, tell us about your studies. I'm a junior at the University of California at Santa Cruz, and I'm doing American studies and legal studies. Sounds complicated. What are your future plans? Well, I'm very interested in psychology, and I might go into... Uh, school psychology and perhaps law school down the line. All kinds of choices look like uh, laid A lot out. of options. A lot of options, a lot of ways to go. What about your spare time? What do you like to do? Well, I like to get away from my studies sometime and uh, do some fishing, and I'm also interested in debate. Uh-huh, so you like debate, uh, whether it's on the classroom or on the hook, or uh, it's time now to play the game, huh? I, <laughs> I went for that one, hook, line, and sink. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, welcome, Jay. Nice to have you here. <laughs> How you doing, champ? All right, all right. Just all right? Well, we'll see. I'm pretty we'll good. See. You, you're kind of a little nervous? Uh, here and there. Well, you, uh, on our last show, were nice enough to come out and present me with one of your, one of the products of your business, a neat-looking right. cookie gram. Mm -hmm. Remind us again what that's all about? Well, Jim, I have one right here. This is a long-stem chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they kind of grow that way. I use special fertilizer. And, um... Why don't you turn that around so the camera can, can see it? Right. There that? you go. Okay. And I place them on stems, and uh, I put them in a box, just like roses, a dozen of them, and I'll deliver them with a singing telegram. Very interesting. Did you think of that to yourself? Um, I can't say that I did. Uh, there's somebody else in Arizona that's also doing it, but I picked it up, and I'm doing it here in L.A. now. How's business? Pretty good, pretty good. I just started a few months ago, but I'm pleased with what's happening. Well, I'm sure you're pleased with what's happening here on Tic Tac Doe. Yeah. So far, you've picked up $1,300. <laughs> I wish you both good luck. Fran Gordon's the champ, and Jay Boyarski is her first challenger. Okay, I ask you now to address your attention to the board and take a look at these nine categories. Finish the list. Top this, botany, colors, Asia, opponent's choice, movies, three to win, and strange names. Now, remember, those red boxes mean those are special categories, and I'll explain those if we get to them. All right, Fran, as the champion, you get to start us off. Where would you like to go? Well, let's uh, try Asia in the middle. All right, let's do it. It's uh, a two-part question. You'll have some extra time, Fran, to think these answers over. Now, this nation, which was once known as Siam, is the only country in Southeast Asia which has never been ruled by a European power. In fact, since the 1700s, the nation has been ruled by the same family of kings from their seat of government in the same city. Now, give me the name of this modern nation and also name the capital city. Here's your extra time. <laughs> Fran, this nation, which was once known as Siam, is the only country in Southeast Asia which has never been ruled by a European power. Give me the name of this modern nation. Thailand? Yes. Number two, name the capital city. Bangkok? You have the center box. All right, Fran, we'll put an X in the center box. $300 pot. Let's shuffle. Okay, Jay, where would you like to go? I'd like colors. Up colors. In the upper left. Top left-hand corner, Jay. If you stand in line in a government office and are asked to fill out 12 forms, each of which has three copies, and then have to stand in another line to hand those forms in, you might say you are stuck in bureaucracy, or you may say you are mired in tape of a certain color. Name that color. Red. Red tape, of course. I think we've all experienced a little bit of red tape in our lives. The colors get to know. We have one X and one O on the board, $500 pot. We're coming right back after we take this pause. Welcome back. We just started a brand new game between our players, Fran and Jay. 
We have 1011X on the board and a $500 pot already. Time for us to shuffle. <laughs> Fran, your turn. Hmm, let's try movies down in the lower right. Fran, take a look at this picture in front of you, right over here. In 1985, two of the world's greatest dancers teamed up for the movie thriller White Knights. Name either of those men. Barishnikov. That's one. Good for you. Yeah. Of course, the other one is Gregory Hines. All right, Fran, we'll put an X, which we already did, on the board. $700 pot. Over to you, Jay. I'd like Asia, please, Jim. Top left, uh, bottom left-hand corner, Jay. Now, this term taken from a Portuguese term for family describes the four strict classes into which Hindu society in India has traditionally been divided. What is that system called? The caste system? Caste system is right. <laughs> All right, category of Asia gets an O. $900 pot. Let's shuffle. Back to you, Fran. Okay. Oh, let's go three to win for the block. Fran, you're going for a block here. However, three to win is a special category you both get to play. Jay, if you get this box, you'll become our new champion. Now, I'm going to read questions to both of you. When you think you know the answer, hit your buzzer. Whoever correctly answers three questions will win the box. Now, the subject of this three-to-win category, this time, Marlon Brando. I see that your hands are on the buzzers. You're waiting. Here we go. Brando won an Oscar for this 1954 film. <laughs> Fran? On the waterfront. That's right. He played boxer Terry Malloy. Good for you, Fran. You have won. Now, he sang and danced his way through this 19... <laughs> Fran. Guys and Dolls. Guys and Dolls is right. He sang his way through the 1955 film, co-starring Frank Sinatra. You have two, Fran. One more correct answer from you, and you will have a block. He received approximately $10 million. <laughs> Jay? Superman. No, Fran. I'll Go. complete the question for you. He received approximately $10 million and an Oscar for his role in this classic 1972 gangster film for the Go. block. Godfather. <laughs> the Godfather. Excuse me, Jim. Right. Excuse me, Jim. The contestant said Godfather. The name of the movie is The Godfather. Okay. Can't give you the box just yet, Fran. Okay. See, the score now is 2-0. Two, two, Next question. His role as the brutal Stanley Kowalski. <laughs> Fran for A the block. A streetcar named Desire. That's right. Fran, you know all about Marlon Brando, don't Marlon you? I love Marlon Brando. <laughs> <laughs> I'll finish that just so we can all know what the exact question was. His role as the brutal Stanley Kowalski in this Tennessee Williams play catapulted Brando into stardom. And you successfully answered a streetcar named Desire and got a block. Three to win category gets the X, $1,100 pot. Four boxes remain. Let's shuffle. Jay. I'm going to have to go with Asia once again for the block. All right, Jay. Listen carefully. This port city in India has a population of more than 8 million, all squeezed into a small group of islands off the country's west coast. It is the financial and commercial center of the country for a block. Name that city. Bombay. That's right. <laughs> Might have been reaching for that a little bit, were you, Jay? <laughs> you weren't too sure, were you? Just well, a guess. You got a successful block. Put it on the board. $1,300 pot. It's time for us to take a break. We're coming right back. Today, 1230 Eastern, 930 Pacific. And now, Jim Caldwell. Thanks very much, Charlie O'Donnell. Well, we're in the middle of a pretty tight game between Fran Gordon and Jay Boyarski. Just three boxes remain. We have a $1,300 pot. Let's shuffle the category. All right, Fran. Oh, boy. All right, let's try uh, opponent's choice. Three boxes, three special categories up there. Your choice is opponent's choice. All right. Because you've chosen this category, Jay, you get to decide whether Fran must answer two questions on TV or one on tennis. Which will it be, Jay? Two questions on TV. All right, Fran, here they are. Number one. Before Roger Moore took over the role of James Bond, 007, he starred in this TV series as a suave English detective named Simon Templar. Templar was better known by a nickname. What was that nickname? The Saint. Right. All right, number two. 1984, actor Stacy Keach brought this tough guy detective to the screen. 
Surrounded by beautiful women and brandishing a 45, he fought crime in New York City. Name that detective. Marlow? No, Mike Hammer. Can't give you that box. So, $1,300 pot, let's shuffle again. Over to you, Jay. I'm going to go with strange names. Strange names it is, Jay. This politician named Andrew, who once served as a UN ambassador and the mayor of Atlanta, has a last name which makes him sound like he might not have been old enough for the job. Give me his last name. Young. Andrew Young is right. right. Strange names get to know. $1,500 pot, two boxes remain. Let's shuffle those categories. Fran? Um, okay, let's try uh, movies. Fran answered this question successfully. We're going to have a tie game. Now, first, though, I must ask you to take a look at this picture. In 1985, this fictional Soviet boxer faced a seemingly unbeatable opponent. Name the character who did battle with this boxer for a tie game. Rocky. Judges? That's an acceptable answer. All right, Rocky sir. Balboa is right. All right, we have a tie game. And now, here's what we do in this situation, Fran Jay. We're going to clear the board, and uh, we're going to give you nine brand new categories and get into game number two. So with a $1,700 pot, here are your nine brand new categories. Suitable titles, trivia dare, medical facts, animal songs, explorers, take two, maps of nations, seesaw, funny ladies. So with a $1,700 pot, let's start game number two. Fran, lead us off. Hmm, um, let's try Funny Ladies down in the bottom right. All right, Fran, in the classic TV series The Honeymooners, Funny Lady Audrey Meadows played the long-suffering wife of blustery bus driver Ralph Cramden. What was the first name of the character Meadows played? Alice. Right. <laughs> Alice Cramden. All right, for the next bottom right-hand corner, $1,900 pot. Time to shuffle. Over to you, Jay. I'd like Funny Ladies in the center, please. All right, let's see what the question is this time in the center box. Funny lady Barbara Feldman played a beautiful and brilliant secret agent in this hit TV series which spoofed the secret agent craze of the 60s. Don Adams played her bumbling partner, Control Agent 86. Name the show, and also give me the number of the agent Barbara Feldman portrayed. Here's your extra time, Jay. <laughs> Okay, looking for two answers, funny lady Barbara Feldon played a beautiful and brilliant secret agent in this hit TV series which spoofed the secret agent craze of the 60s. Name the show. Get Smart. That's right. Number two, give me the number of the agent Barbara Feldon portrayed. 99. Good for you. You have the center box. Agent number 99. Funny ladies get to know this time. $2,200 pot. Time to shuffle. Back to you, Fran. Hmm, let's see uh how about trivia dare down on the bottom left bottom left hand corner special category fran either one of you can get the box i'll read you this question fran then you decide whether you'll answer it first or dare jay to answer first the hit 1973 film the day of the jackal featured a contract killer and master of disguise who was assigned to assassinate this world leader was that leader charles de gaulle winston churchill or queen elizabeth all right, Fran, what are you going to do, answer or dare? I'd like to answer. You're going for the answer. All right. Was that leader Charles de Gaulle, Winston Churchill, or Queen Elizabeth? That was Winston Churchill. No. Jay, was it Charles de Gaulle or Queen Elizabeth? I'm just going to have to guess and say Charles de Gaulle. Nice guess. You have the box. All right, trivia dare, you picked it, Fran, but Jay ended up with a box. So now let's shuffle with a $2,400 pot. Jay. I'm going to go with funny ladies for the win. Top right-hand corner. Jay, answer this question, and you'll become our new champion. One popular sitcom of the 1970s starred funny ladies Florence Henderson and Ann B. Davis as women who tried to keep order in a family of three boys, Three girls and a shaggy dog named Tiger. For tic-tac-toe, and a grand total of $2,600 in cash. Give me the last name of that family. Brady. 
right. You win. Hey. Oh. Congratulations, Jay. Diagonal tic-tac-toe. And because you successfully tied Fran in the first go-around, the pot is worth $2,600. Well, we'll find out how well you do as you face the dragon in your first attempt to try to defeat him in just one moment. But first, Fran Gordon, you've been fun. I enjoyed having Thank you on you. the show. Thank you very much. I oh, did, too. Good. I, and I appreciate you bringing by your uh, cookie grams. I uh, loved eating them. I munched on every one of them. I'll tell you that right <laughs> now. And, of course, you're leaving us with $1,300. And thanks for playing Tic Tac Joe, Fran. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a break and find out how well Jay does against the Dragon right after this. At 11.30 p.m. Eastern. We just crowned a brand-new champion. Jay Boyarski is the man. You ready to uh, face the Dragon, Jay? I sure am. Come on over. Well, here you are. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I I'm a student, and that's a lot of money. $2,600? So. <laughs> start off really on the high side. Now you get to see if you can uh, up your total. You've probably no seen this before. You know, behind these numbers are various amounts of money. There's a tick, a tack, and that dragon. You want to reach $1,000 or more, or get the tick and the tack, and you'll win this terrific prize package. Listen up. Well, Jay, these gifts will provide you with two kinds of fun and a way to dress for each occasion. First, Jay, when you're going to take the lady in your life out dancing, brush up with these dance lessons at any of the more than 260 Arthur Murray dance studios worldwide. What happens in dancing happens first at Arthur Murray's. Then she'll dress for the occasion in these dazzling fashions. Tangents, a new division of warranty, featuring a collection of updated separates for the contemporary woman, perfect for career into evening, Tangents, a division of warranty. Next, you'll need a change of clothing for your second occasion, so here is a fine assortment of sportswear. His and her active in daytime sportswear by Catalina. Combining fresh good looks in richly textured easy care fabrics, appropriate for any sport and leisure activities, fashions by Catalina. And then, Jay, you'll have occasion to wear those clothes on a tropical vacation, so select a pair of Bermuda shorts for the beaches of sunny Bermuda! You'll wander through palm trees, flowers, hills, and beaches in the British Crown Colony of Bermuda, a group of coral islands 600 miles from America's Atlantic coast. You'll stay at the Grotto Bay Beach Hotel, Bermuda, enjoy brilliant sun pink beaches, fresh water pools, tennis, disco entertainment, and superb meals served with true Bermuda hospitality. Memories to treasure at the Grotto Bay Beach Hotel, Bermuda. This dress for the occasion package is worth in cash and prizes over $4,450. If you've ever been to Bermuda, you know it's an absolutely beautiful island. I've never been. Well, you got to beat the dragon, and you're going if you do. Get the tick and the tack, by the way, and you'll get the uh, dough automatically. So why don't you uh, decide where you're going to go? By the way, anybody in the audience going to give you some uh, support here? I have two friends of mine from school right in the front row there. What are the names? Raphael on the left and Michael. Terrific. Okay, where do you want them to take you first here, number-wise? Well, I'm going to go with my favorite number first. And... Uh, Number three. All right, number three, top right-hand corner. Let's see how well it does for you. Heck, all right. it's a nice start. All you need is a tack. What else do you want to do? Eight. Eight. All all right. Right. Uh, we're going to go with eight. Going for eight. All right. Eight. 300. All right. all right, you need 700 or a tack. Uh, number one. Number one. Number one, he says. He shouts it out. 100 bucks. All right, you're up to 400. You need 600 more or a tack. Everybody is saying five. Oh. Everybody says five. Everybody says five. Let's oh, try it. Tack, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! All right. Well, believe it. You're off to Bermuda. Great. And along with everything else that came with that price tag, let's take a look at where that dragon was. Where was he hiding this time? Behind number seven. Well, Lucky we have seven. one excited man here, right, Jay? You know what you're up to now in cash and prizes? Seven thousand and fifty dollars. We're gonna come back and meet your next challenger right after this. All right. Attention, U.S. veteran two on Wheel of Fortune, followed by Jeopardy.
Well, Jay, you just beat the dragon first time around. Way to go. All right. <laughs> feeling, feeling pretty hot, pretty confident? Feeling great. Well, let's see if you continue on a roll next time. Your name is Jay Boyarski. Mine's Jim Caldwell. We'll see you next time on the next Tic Tac Go. Some of our departing contestants will receive Q-Bell, taken as directed, can help reduce the frequency and severity of night leg crack. Q-Bell for leg ache relief and peaceful sleep. Plus, Pine Saw Cleaner's got a powerful time to clean, deodorize, and disinfect for a complete clean. Pine Saw, the more complete cleaner. Introducing Blue Bonnet Spread in a big new two-pound size. Everything's better with Blue Bonnet on it. are high. One mistake and Chris retains the championship. So it pays to go slow. Breathe right there. Play your cards right. I'll try it higher. And you might win the show. Lower than the queen. Yeah! Yeah! On Card Sharks, Wild Game, Witty Poetry. Next on Game Show Network. Tic-Tac-Toe is a Jack Barry and Dan Enright production.